And we're back for more good time, happy time, Digimon time. I haven't picked up any new cases. I'm the caseless pixel doctor. I am the master detective, Fexic. I am in the field deadlock. I'm Helldiver Haruka from Super Earth. Wait, wrong series. I'm one of those detectives who's so cool, I use a letter to represent my name. Take this one first, because it's the lower rating. Use two. Hm. But, uh, yeah, no. It, so back to that conversation before. No, this that's face a, actually a, pretty this straightforward. Is a, fucking Christ. Just this is a new episode. <laughs> that was a whole episode ago. Take, take, take this conversation behind the tool barn and fucking execute it, please. No, because you won't, you don't understand. You so have make you understand. time, plenty of time between episodes to explain this. I have lost interest. <laughs> so too has the audience. You motherfucker. It's been 10 seconds. To us, yes. To them, it's been a lifetime. Moving at on. At least 24 hours. That's a lifetime on the internet. Uh, no, well, either wait, way... I think that's a... That's it's usually... A, even for a lifetime on the internet. I say, the lifetimes that you... No. I mean, a meme lasts at least a month. No. Our, our shelf life has passed. We're basically bowling for... Killian. Our shelf life has passed. We're basically bowling for soup. We get together every now and again whenever we need money or just really, really need to put out content. Okay. What am oh, I doing? Oh, I need money, so where's my money? Where's my money, Doc? Where's my paycheck? You ain't get shit. We don't make money so you don't get paid. I, I invested in the stock market for you. I didn't ask you to do he's that. Not, he's not even on the stock market. How could you be invested in something that doesn't exist? Yeah, we do. You... Because I put him on the stock market. I think Andrew just got scams. I think that's what happened. I no, I put I invested, I, I put I invested all of my money and then invested in him. Look, no, I invested all of scam, my money in the... Guy. You need to invest all your money in the stag market. Bambi coin. It's going to be a thing. I... Where am I going? Yeah, that's going to get shot. I don't know. Maybe you should have paid attention to where they're saying you should I was go. Say, did, did, you, yeah, did you not read the case file? I, I did. I just said check Broadway. Well, I thought it said something about the AC, so I thought maybe come here, but case well, file yeah, is not updated. Either. Well, then talk to Kyoko. If Kyoko can't help yeah. you, then talk to Mire. We'll talk to Mire first because I want to see something. Check your evolutions. Uh, but no, because I know they wouldn't have grinded enough to... timelines. We can talk about, uh, Gundam. No, no, I'm good. I like Gundam, but I'm good. Well, now they said it, Chris. I gotta, I gotta check. <clears throat> okay. Oh. So is Geckomon just eating real estate right now, or...? <laughs> yep, there it goes. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Casually uh, has I mean, an Omega on his team. Uh, I mean, there, there's no reason not to, realistically. I got lost, left a certain way. Once again, if I got time, perhaps I should go back to the real job with Cyrus. Uh, once again, do come back. Yeah, go back okay, to so your real you... job. <laughs> yeah, come on. So then, yeah, that, that one's going to be Kyoko. Have you, um, how many times have you dealt with the, the air conditioning system? Like, how many times have you been in there? We did one on, like, one time where we had to do it for this, the main story. This is a Everybody side quest. Well, you know, the weird thing is Ogremon was supposed to become Titanmon, but, eh. Yeah, so this is, this is really just a, a trade-up any way you look at it. Who are you? I'm you, but better. Pretty much. So, oh, nano machine break, definitely given that one. Uh, oh, do it. Nano. Is that that is physical? Cool. Yeah, Titanmon is a physical attacker, so you mostly. Uh, use really? Is he? Attacks. I couldn't tell. Oh, well, he three. could be a muscle wizard. Uh, we already have. He should. I'm pretty sure he gets comet. Oh, never mind. You already have comet hammer three. Yeah, comet hammer three. <laughs> yeah, do I need that if I have that? Oh, that's a different thing. It's literally just better yeah, than so, here, too. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, Soul Core Attack is your your big daddy defense penetrating thing. Comet Hammer is your this isn't even my final form attack. 
Yeah, but do you also notice the MP cost difference, or oh, the SP cost difference between the two? Eh. Yeah, common hammer is cheaper. Significantly. So Zach, after going to Digimon Survive, isn't that just like a uh, visual novel? Not exactly. It's mostly it's partial video no visual novel, um, but it's also a strategy RPG. I don't know about that. I don't know if it sounds interesting to me. I know. Like have, have you guys ever seen the Digimon fan base online trying to tell you which games are good and which ones aren't? It's yes. a mess. Yeah, Jaden and I did a whole video about it. And yeah, the games as a whole are a mess. I mean, I didn't like Digimon World War, but you like it, so that already kind of like shows a bit of the discourse now, in that itself. I I like it for nostalgia's sake. I am also perfectly capable of admitting that it is a needlessly brutal and difficult game. Yeah. Uh, four we all know was a bit something. Even ignoring all the bugs, like the problems that we had on our end. Yeah, four. I I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. I like and dislike four. <laughs> I think that's it's, nostalgia. Well, like later on, you can actually manage things a lot better, but the initial starting of it is rough. You could say the same thing about Gauntlet. Yeah. Again, that's that's another one where while I can pick out good things about it, the majority of my love of Gauntlet comes from nostalgia. What the? Ooh, incidentally, uh, Deadlock MJ, you know, you know what might be a good one to have Zach try out is uh, Rumble Arena. Yeah, no, that one could be pretty fun. I remember having fun it, with it on PS One. Okay, clearly it's even better. Okay, clearly the two of you don't remember, but they're already on your individual lists. Yes. MJ has one. Deadlock exactly. has two. Two is better. Fight me. There was a Rumble Arena too. Apparently. Yeah. And it has four player fighting. So that could be a multiplayer. Interesting. And you did evolve twice. And... Hold on. Before I do this, let me check my case file again. Unless you're one of the uh, special Digimon, like say Omnimon, in which case there is no Digivolving for you at all. Check out Brawl. Oh, makes sense. Like, like unless you're uh, Omnimon's wart that can go up to like Alter D and then later to. Um... Uh, no, no, there isn't even like Omnimon special forms either. Like, it's just Omnimon and that's it. <laughs> well, makes sense. But what platform did it come out for? PS2. At least that's the one I played on. M Game it, is, it is on GameCube. Because when I was doing my research. Yeah. What honestly, my... that would be honestly just good for four player brawling. Well, we still got to finish Crystal Chronicles. But mm -hmm. I need, like I said, I want Chris to finish that art first. So that way I, have, I can start putting those out too. What am I looking like, for? This would, I mean, it would honestly just be a fun short one to do. This is my one problem with this game, is that there's a very big lack of direction. Yeah, it's just like, run around in circles until you find the thing. <laughs> yeah, because it... I, I don't know what I'm looking for. What was the case that we picked up? Uh... Uh, Broadway on fire. I think we do actually have to go back into that place. Where where I was before? Back at, at, yeah, back in the cafe, I think, if I remember this one correctly. Make sure there's no one. So you're saying I should go in here, right? I think so. That's what I think, because it's, it's surrounded the AC again. Oh, Jesus, look how big he is. And then you got Vegemon who's just like, hey guys, what's up? And we're back. Oh no, they don't deserve this. Dude, no, hold, dude, how is Titamon gonna stand up to these things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta you take it out. I think you just need to run, Zach. Whew, okay, thank God. Price is averted. Yep. So glad you used the defense penetrating move on one of the Digimon that arguably has no defense to speak of. <laughs> I had to be sure. I needed to be safe. Also, have you um 
I, I didn't catch on when you were looking at uh, the evolutions that you've already unlocked. Have you been uh, Platinum Sukumon yet? Yes. That thing and Platinum Numamon start off with literally all of the defense. And they're also, they're also your grinding friends. Yep, yeah, for experience, they're your grindy friends, but I love how both of them just start with 999 defense. That's really I funny. I mean, yeah, they're basically Metal Slimes from Dragon Quest, so that's from the sounds of it. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, I get that, but it's still, it's still amusing. Yeah, you get basically... Dragon Quest Eleven. I was actually really enjoying that one. Yeah, I... I, I, I Delic gifted me it. I gotta get back to it. Well, I gotta actually yeah. start it, but... It's honestly my favorite of I need to definitely get is Dragon Quest Monsters. Which one? Um, uh, the newest one. The one on the... Yeah. Oh. Jesus Christ, that damage. I, I didn't mean, even see it. I was looking Mega away. Mega versus a rookie. Like eight hundred and eighty something. Well, that's not even the highest damage I've done so far. That's just the highest damage he's done so far. <sighs> Tied him on, making your enemies pay, and doing it with an eyeball on his crotch. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, there he is. Hey, buddy, what's up? Oh, it's blue Maramon. Okay. What am I looking at? Uh, if you have. So you're the pro you're the problem. First it was a Frigimon, now it's a blue Marimon. Yeah. First things were too cold. Now they're too hot. <laughs> well, I'll deal with him. I do like Me that Marimon's got a few different like evolution lines. Yeah, there's um because Marimon in this game can go Yeah, he can go up to either Blue Marimon and Skull Marimon, and Skull Marimon is one of only two things in this game that can become Beelzemon. I mean, one of my favorite Marimon bits so far has been Skull Sadamon. Yeah, it's so fucking cool. What was it? It is so cool. It is so cool and intimidating, yet also goofy and silly. What was that uh, in here? Skull Sad... Skull Sadamon. I don't... Is that in this game? I might have seen it. Yes, it is in this game. Yeah, it's, it, it's in this game. It's a, um... I think you can get it if you go up to Devamon line. You can get it up to Devamon line. You can also get it from, uh, Raremon. Oh. There's a few ways you can get he it. He said a bad word. Get out of here. Preach. I feel... I'm not gonna say I'm, I'm, I feel bad having a mega little level Digimon, but I definitely, you, uh... <laughs> you feel bad. Hmm. No, if you really want to feel bad about it, like, on your own time, once you're once all of this is said and done, start a new game plus, and then tell me how you feel. I might do that. We'll see. There, I fixed your air conditioning. Fuck off. Well, it's the entire complex. It's air conditioning. Yeah, but I fixed so his air conditioning. a lot of people are going to suffer with it. And... You, know uh, who, uh, you know who Tidemon reminds me of, now that I'm kind of in my memory like for other like similar game stuff he reminds me of the the Baldwin king from twilight princess I haven't played that one yet so i can kind of see that yeah if we weren't doing this we were, we were either gonna do probably pikmin or um what the I mean, he wasn't also the only one with similar design if you've ever played the spiral games you might think nasty nork pikmin or what guy who was talking uh, Led, one of the Legend of Zelda games that are on both of your guys' lists, which was either Twilight Princess or Wind Waker. I don't like the... I don't dislike the idea of Pikmin. It's been a while. If I could, I would like, like to get the remasters they did. Um, I yeah, prefer the much better... Yeah, you're missing already. <laughs> I, I prefer the better version of those games called... Uh, Patapon. I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't care. Shut up. Yeah, yeah neither do I. <laughs> it's, a, it's basically Pikmin, but uh, on the PSP side, scroller and uh, rhythm based. You just have to have to have a problem with everything, don't you? Well, as far as the I have no problem with Pikmin, I just quite literally um wanted to just spread pat upon love because that game series is so underrated. I just yeah, never like even, heard of even even in, even insofar as the members of the Sin Squad go, MJ is like the embodiment of the internet, like. Even amidst happiness, there must be discourse. It's called a joke, asshole. No. Present it ah, better. so the internet's a joke now. Somewhere on this floor. Yeah, somewhere. 
Yeah, maybe it's actually towards to the, the left. Uh... What do you mean to the left? The, the, you depending on left. Which which left. <laughs> which your left? left? Your other left. Well, I was looking down here. That's for that's forward, Zach, not your left. Well, there is yeah, no left here. Wait, am I supposed to go in here? Yes. I, well, I, I like to think that the shiny blue swirling thing that was never there before is part of what you need to do. Was it not there also, before? Zach, I could have sworn it was here before. I, no, it I think wasn't. you owe it to yourself to put attack attachments on Tidamon to increase his already bonkers physical attack. I... Oh, yeah, this is like the best area to grind, by the way. Why? Because Holy shit, free, he gets you three? Get pretty good, pretty strong... Uh, uh <clears throat> those are the best I got right now. I'm sorry, how many of those do you have? Um, I said ten. Oh, I, put a, oh, I don't have any accessories. Um, uh, but yeah, I had... I got a lot of shit. I, I, I see that. My, my, my Digimon were very happy with me grinding them. <laughs> so what is... Oh, okay, so, so you... It looks like you had them in a couple of farms, because you got a... I only have you got one farm. Of, well, then he had a bunch of shit increase, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, I I had him in one farm. I didn't change anything past, you know. One ticket is good, and we're good. I want to copy my body. It's lost. Wait, what? I didn't know that was a possible thing for Digimon. All right. Yeah, no, I mean, Digimon can take off their armor and clothing. Yeah, but that sounds like it's part of his body. All right, yeah, well, I guess... Yeah, that's why he's not feeling well. Well, I don't know. I don't know a huge, like, lore of Digimon. I'm still learning this shit. Also have fun with the teleporter maze. Oh, god I damn don't it. I think Digimon knows the whole lore of Digimon. That might also be true, actually. Because yeah, in most cases, like, really like, like a mechanical... Grinding. Yeah, because in some cases, a mechanical Digimon can get the shit utterly beaten out of it and have nothing wrong. But in this case, Hagurumon drops one of its gears and now suddenly it's about to die. Little inconsistent. A I mean, little bit. it's essentially a clockwork mo monster, so losing your gears would essentially be losing arteries and veins. Well, it's more like losing an organ, it but that's what you're saying. Oh. I found it. I'm pretty sure you can still hang out here and grind if you want to. Well, I saw a chest, and there's possibly a memory extender there, so I want to get that. Yeah. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. But uh, this area is really good for grinding, just because, if I remember correctly, it uh, has a whole bunch of champions and stuff in it, and ultimates. Well, then. Uh, later, maybe. That's not what I want. Yeah, it's still useful. Uh, oh, this goes down. This probably goes... Somewhere. Yeah, I don't, I'm not quite exactly sure where I'm at. All right, well, yeah, that's, that, that's just a loop. Well, no. Well, you are. Oh. Yeah, no, this area is really good with Platinum Sukumon because you can Ooh. just farm a bunch of XP. You can watch the XP after this. I mean, it's not like it matters. I've been farming things passively, so. It can be up over a thousand. Yeah. Yep, a thousand XP and then... Each Sukumon gives like 200% XP. Mm -hmm. trap. Something like that. So Not if you get three really of them, rid of, but okay. <clears throat> it doesn't do much damage. It's all about. It's more for the poison effect that comes there. Which was what? I think it said 20% chance. No, it's guaranteed. I don't think it is guaranteed, because I'm pretty sure I've used it, it, it's not poisoned. Yeah, because some monsters I, can just block it, that's why. I, I kind of agree with Zach at this point, like, once you get past champion level, the status moves don't matter as much. Poison is really good in this game, because because we did realize and last time... you get time, to the Digimon, where you really need to start stopping their attacks. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll go about things, and well, maybe so I'll need see... to change, change my strategy up, maybe I won't. Now, now in Deadlock's defense... He's not wrong, but those are more extra missions, more more than things you fight over the course of the actual main plot. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, you still, but if you're not going to be playing those, like, why not? Well, maybe you just want to play I the agree. story. It's, 
Yeah, it's but if, if you do, that's just something to focus when you take on those extra missions. Well, I mean, if you're planning on going after them anyways, like, why not just prepare for it while you're going up to it? Well, because the methods are different. Like, uh, for the, the fight against Lusamon, especially, you yeah, need Digimon he, he, that are that's more... That's his own can of worms. Yeah, no, but for that fight, you need Digimon that are better at stalling out and buffing your team, whereas, ev like, most there. other fights that aren't special missions, you're better off uh, just having a bunch of powerhouses that can clean sweep. Oh, Incidentally, my final team, me, all, okay. all, three of my vi all three of my virus types have uh, penetrating special attack. Yeah, I do. Just the, the, uh, the stat penetrating attacks are just so good. Uh, yeah, because Lilithmon, Lilithmon has a has an int one, and then Bielzamon BM and Gallantmon CM both have defense penetrating moves. Forget what I was going to turn Vegemon into. I'm blanking I right now. Know. I don't. Well, I'll. When I look at his Digivolutions, I'll remember. Hold on, let me see. Like Vegemon himself, I don't. Oh think wait, I think I recall. I think I recall. Unless you were gonna go into one of the insect lines. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. I remember. It's possible. I remember I now. Going into Tyreek Arbitarymon. Good news, okay, everybody! Take, take that all the way up. Take that all the way up the list. Go either to Hercules Kabuterimon or Grand Kuwagamon. Well, well, if he takes it to Hercules Kabuterimon, he can take it a step further to Tyrant Kabuterimon. Oh, that's right, you can. I keep Does forgetting that, that exists. Apparently, uh, yeah, the entire game, the Earth Defense Force one. series is on sale. You know, that's not relevant to hmm. the rest of us. Just an interesting game. I thought I'd share it. God. <laughs> it's fun being, you know, what if, you know, just the JSD. How dare you be compassionate? You know, how dare you be passionate about something you care about? Asshole. I just want to play kaiju game with friends. Fucking nerd. It's illegal to have fun. <laughs> Yeah, we don't like that okay, here. Okay, well then we can't then we can't have these videos because Dak has said he's having fun with this. I never have fun. No, you said you're having fun. No, 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 no. He has a point. <laughs> Especially because you've gone out of your way to grind for this game. You just like just like the internet. Internet. I can game. just like the internet. I can flip my opinion whenever I feel like whenever it's convenient for me. <laughs> <laughs> whenever it pushes the narrative. Yeah, exactly. Oh, speaking of the internet flipping narratives, Let's God, not. I hate the fucking Starship Trooper Discord right now. Uh, Discord right now. My brother was talking about that. He said that a new movie or something came out. It was good. Uh, Hell Divers came out, or Hell Divers uh, Two rather that's came what out, which about. got the uh, movies back in the focus, which people are now going. The governments of the Starship Troopers universe are fascist when it's the most liberal government fucking ever. I haven't watched this movie, so. I cannot have it. I've read the now. book. Yeah, the books. The book is absolutely fantastic. The, the movie, movie is, is propaganda to high water and back. <laughs> no, the movie is a hit piece that's trying to masquerade as propaganda. Because the, yeah, director I, I, of the I, movie the... openly admitted he never read the fucking book. Yeah, I'll have but to watch he the hated movie. it Actually, and uh... hated the writer and wanted to make sure everyone knew <laughs> Heinlein was a fascist you y'all you, gotta work on your timing because like you you all try to take breaks to let the other speak but it's the same exact timing so one so when one tries to speak thing the other one's done the other one stops to speak to let the other ones talk you both just start talking at the same time because the time is the same in between maybe we just need like yeah, that's, uh, why I, that's, that's why exactly my point exactly my point right there yeah. but that's why i try not to like keep up with the interpersonal relationships or lives of like directors or writers or any of that shit. Like I, I, I consume the media. If I like it, great. If I don't, cool. And that's generally as as content as I'm willing to be about it. Yeah, like I'll watch a movie if I think it's good. Oh, it's good. But if I, but yeah. And eventually, if I hear something about this actor, I'm like, oh, they did this. This was terrible. I'm like, all right, I'll probably, I'll, I won't watch any more movies. But that doesn't. 
discredit their skills as an actor or whatever. Yeah, like, and some cases are more extreme than others. Like, you find out somebody who's, like, either a director or, like, in a band or something did something completely morally reprehensible, but you are able to, say, in, in a band... Like artist from the art. Exactly. You're able to appreciate the music in one case while completely, I don't want to say discounting what the person did, but not letting it impact your ability to enjoy what you're listening to. Like I said, if they do something totally reprehensible, then yeah, I won't take part in it, but yeah. Well, conveniently, if they do something completely reprehensible, a lot of times the band disbands and they stop producing stuff. I know uh, Lost Profits was a good example of that. I remember the name, don't remember any music. Oh, their vocalist was a shitbag and a half. Is a shitbag and a half. Uh, to put another example for it, it's like liking the Assassin's Creed series, but still hating Ubisoft. <laughs> Yeah, that is fair. a far more that is a that is a far more soft core example, but nonetheless accurate. Or, I mean, you know, right now apparently Skull oh, and Bones is not of, being uh, yeah, I, Skull and Bones is not being too well received apparently. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, speaking what of people Ubisoft, about Skull and Bones for, um, because it's a shit game. Yeah, apparently it's just not good. You can't do any pirate okay, points. Only about I'm gonna need a lot more. I'm gonna need a lot more to go on. I don't so, know specifics. All, um, I'll let MJ do take this. So first of all, you can't even board enemy ships as a pirate. Okay, they never once said that you could. Sure. If you're going to make a pirate game, and, you know, say, you know, you can do ship combat and all this stuff, people are going to assume you can board ships because that's a piratey thing to do. I mean, see Especially <laughs> when we can look back at a previous much better pirate game they've made called Black Flag. Right now, and, and I'm going to preface this as a very outspoken fan of Black Flag. They never once advertised ship boarding, nor did they ever show it in any of their gameplay footage. They marketed Skull and Bones as a naval combat game first and foremost. And I can look at Naval Action, which is another one of those that don't that also has boarding. Now that one's okay. really bad because for other reasons. You also have to remember, we live in the age where you can pat like look at No Man's Sky immediately post release versus what it is now. We yeah, live in an era that where was, oh, they that was false marketing up like to hell. And we and that was also like, a small like, small, like, small like, indie team, not a triple A developer. Triple A developers tend to not listen. listen. Like divorce divorce yourself from the mindset of whatever No Man's Sky was outside of like gameplay experience. What it was immediately post release and what it is now. It might as well be two completely fucking separate games. Now, Here's what I question. will say there is that is an absolute abnormality in the entirety of the gaming market. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to say, like, seeing, see, seeing that freaking No Man's Sky go through that is incredible. It's unusual, even. Do I honestly but think a AAA studio like Ubisoft, EA, or Activist, even these days, are going to go through such extreme measures? Fuck no. No, they, no, no they'll no. take they'll take not, your $70. Remember, also, remember no. This isn't triple A for this game. It is quadruple A. Oh, that's it? right. Oh yeah. Stop, stop, no, stop, I fr stop. no, but he's right. They that they have been saying that. This I is know they've been saying it, but no, I want that phrase killed with fire. It's so stupid. I don't even know what that means. It means also, nothing. All triple A ever meant was a budget thing. That's it. They're basically yeah, openly admitting is... that their games are so overinflated on their budget that they shouldn't be profitable at all. My point is, it's not outside the realm of possibility for that particular development team to fix whatever pat or things need patching and to add whatever additional gameplay elements they need to or feel they need to. It may not or be given the, rocky, given the rocky last couple of years that Ubisoft has had, it might actually be within their better interest to do so. Uh, you see, yeah, but here's the it, thing. Could I believe some like developers with actual integrity would want to do that? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Do I not. think do I think the higher ups in charge of everything making things go are going to do that? Absolutely not. Mm -mm. Yeah. On top yeah, of that, sorry, I was I was wrong. Skull and Bones does have boarding. When you lower an enemy's ship health bar down far enough, you can pull up alongside them and instantly loot their ship. That's the entire boarding. Yeah, Slide 3 had more in-depth pirating than that. 
Yeah, but see, I, and that was like, for I a saw single all, the, all the trailers and everything else. Like, AJ and I watched all those trailers, and we're like, okay, like, this is what it is. Cool. After, at the end of the day, yeah, now, I, 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 too, I, if it's I, worth $70 to you. Is that why we play Sea of Thieves? Oh, I, well, I don't, I don't know about all that, but I watched all of that, and I'm like, okay, like, this is what it is. I don't necessarily need it to be anything more than that. Like, it's... It is pretty much exactly as advertised. I think the most, the biggest problem people are having with it is a, it's not they expected more because that does seem pretty basic, and the, again, it's seventy dollars. Is that really worth seventy dollars for people? That's I think the most. Especially problem. when well, I can't. In, especially in this economy, when everything is just getting more and more and more expensive. Yeah. I mean, I personally would struggle to name to name a game in recent memory that was. "Quote unquote," worth its price tag. Yeah, uh, the one the, that, that that's more systematic of the actual system than. I would say the su the Suicide Squad live service game came out, and no, it's basically dead on arrival. Terrible. It's basically dead on arrival. Yeah, but there hasn't been like really any game in recent memory that, like, after having played through its main story, has made me think realistically, wow, that was worth almost $100. I think the mo most you could say is probably Baldur's Gate 3, just because of the amount of content that's in there. Baldur's Gate uh, 3 is an anomaly. I, I, it's an anomaly. It is, but I'm still making a point. Baldur's 2 is also pretty good for $40. That's what I've also been hearing, but I haven't seen or played anything of it, so... Uh, oh, yeah, uh, also... It, the problem with Ubisoft thing here, though, uh, Chris, is that everyone is expecting, at minimum, at least just Assassin's Creed 4. Yeah. I think but no oh, Assassin's plotline. It doesn't help that Ubisoft's becoming everyone's villain again. Which is really upsetting because they actually have a quality game they just released. What did they, they release? No advertising budget. budget. What was it? Prince of Persia, the newest one. They oh, the... just dropped it. Yeah, it's actually it... good. Yeah, I heard it was good. People didn't didn't believe in it, but uh, apparently it's pretty pretty good. No one believes in it because it was Ubisoft, but Ubisoft didn't even believe it in either because they didn't give it an advertising budget. It's because they get like a good like two three years and then they shoot everyone else in the foot for like five years I found straight. Out there is a uh, there, there was a highbrow way to refer to that. That I learned also, recently, by the way. We've just had Wait, the hold on, Delic. I want to know what he's going to say. Sorry. Apparently, it's called ballistic podiatry when one shoots themselves in the foot. Yes. All right, then. Uh, say what you're going to say now, Delic. Yeah, yeah. we've just been having this whole conversation over an entire mission, which is basically cultish stuff. I'm going to be honest, I haven't given a shit about the plot so far. Yeah, I'm just saying, we've just been casually going over this over on our. This is basically playing Digimon while we're having a podcast. It's pretty much, but people said, but a few of the people I talked to when they watched the traffic, I said we should do a podcast that they like hearing us talk, so I don't mind doing this. I'd be down to do a podcast over, like, a specific topic. Honestly, yeah. that's basically mm -hmm. what that's our basically video... basically what this series is basically... I, I should to say, it's basically what our videos are. More or less. I mean, the, like, the Digimon thing is kind of taking second fiddle here. This is, it, it is, it is Zach plays new games to him, and everyone else mm -hmm. just talks about whatever they feel like. Yeah. So, and our videos are like 30 too. minutes long, so you have 30 minutes of just listening to stuff. Except for our Nuzlocks. Our Nuzlocks were actually, like, playing. Strategizing and talking. Yeah. And, and... and experiencing pain and hardship and loss and mm -hmm. despair. Soul Silver was mm -hmm. rough. We had no problems in Fire Red, except for me. I'm excited for yeah, when we get I to Emerald, but we gotta, we gotta finish this before we get to Emerald. I, I do also find mm -hmm. it weird that Skull and Bones is a pirate game which has, like, no, like, um, almost no land on, on land content. Well, again, it's all about the ship battles, which th again yeah, they advertise that. But I do see, I, mean, there, I do, do think there land, would be. Though, don't they? I, I guess for trading purposes, you could at least make him dock. Um, but There's I, I think, do think one there would be singular dock which I, you can go to. I do think there would be value in having, uh, like. You know, attacking like port city or something to raid it, like doing. Yeah, the, mm. like that's not uh, the old. Um, yeah, like the old um, blockade of Charlestown approach. Whatever that is, I yeah. don't know, but it sounds it sounds accurate. It was uh, so basically uh, the real historical Blackbeard. He uh, captured a couple of, uh, I think they were like 
dignitaries or no, citizens from Charlestown, South Carolina, and basically held them hostage for over a week while the uh, while he demanded medicine for his crew from the governor. It was basically a a hostage exchange, and during that time, Blackbeard had his ship anchored just off the the port of Charlestown, and he wouldn't let anybody in or out until his demands were met. And was smarter than he seemed. I, dude was a friggin' genius for his time. And then even the the, the final battle. And then the final battle where he inevitably, you know, lost his life. Even then, they had to shoot and stab him multiple times before they finally had to just decapitate the fucker to finally stop him. I feel like it. I feel like you just exposed the uh, ending of One Piece with that one. Oh, that's yeah. a completely different Blackbeard with a completely different set of skills. Uh, yeah, well, they do take some inspiration from from the original. Some, not a lot. Oh, oh of course they do. Fucker walking around having two devil fruit powers at once. Who's he think he is? He's, he is big man on campus. Yeah, he is kind of that. Who's barely on campus? He. So he, someone well, who hasn't they, seen it. What's the downside of having two? Uh, well, there yeah, is no downside. Normal, normally, yeah, normally it just kills a person. Like the human body is not meant to accommodate two devil fruit powers at once. Blackbeard is a notable exception. He's the only one, only exception to that yeah, we know so, of. So he's so he so he's able to have the the combined powers of the darkness and the earthquake fruits. It is possible that others could do it because they've never shown someone eating two. So yeah, and it, it it doesn't explicitly or even implicitly explain why he's able to survive having two powers. But in most normal people. The second you eat a second fruit, the powers basically overload your body and you fucking explode. Yeah, this is, they that the whole thing is the government kind of controls a lot of information and stuff. So, but they explain it. <clears throat> they explain it that uh, Teach Blackbeard he has a weird body. That's kind of how they explain that he can have the second one, but they don't really they haven't shown us yet. Eventually, Oda will explain it because he's just a good writer like that. He explains everything when he gets the chance, but he'll wait like five years before he does it. Ooh. Yeah, I was gonna say because like at this point we're kind of just waiting for. Yeah, right now anything. they're he's he's a background he's a character doing things in the background he's setting stuff up for later which is different from One Piece because both things are going on in the foreground. Which I, mean, I remember at this point I'm really wondering how he's supposed to be a threat with Luffy being literally able to overwrite reality. Well, he can nullify Devil Fruit power, so that might have something to do with it. Luffy overwrites reality. It doesn't overwrite reality. That's not how that works. He literally overwrote reality to literally make everything rubbery. That's uh, that's what they do. That's not just his devil fruit. Other other devil yeah, other devil fruits do that too. And also, we haven't like, seen that though. Like no yes, one else we have. Yeah. Like, we literally have. Don't flamingo. Don't flamingo. Curry do it too. In. But you also have to factor in what his fruit was revealed to do, because it's not a, uh, it, well, I'm, I'm sure you you know at this point, it's not a Paramecia-class fruit like everybody thought it was. Yeah, it's a Zoan. A special Zoan. Yeah, it's a mythical, yeah, it's a mythical Zoan that turns you into a literal fucking sun god who just happens to have a rubbery body. Yeah, so, the, give it time, the plot's still developing. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years later. time, my man, my man couch, in heaven. AJ is looking at me with the biggest what the fuck are you talking about face. <laughs> I mean, uh, One Piece is weird man, when you... Give it time. We're, we're on how many, you know, chapters? Oda, let Oda cook. I'm, He's always I'm cooking okay. something good. He's been cooking for years. The man yes. has to finish the meal at some point. He's doing it. He's been serving up appetizers for decades. Some better than others. Uh, you know, you have your ups and downs. You can't blame him for that. I don't know. What I mean, I'm when to... it's been as long as it has been, it's that's inevitable. I, I wouldn't. There's his not like any one arc I would say is bad. Nobody though. gives him shit about his cooking. What are we going? Did you did you, did you actually pick up the bounty? Uh oh, is there a, a new mission? I believe so. I believe she said something about they called she you said, in for another request. Oh, I, I was so in enamored in the conversation. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to what's in front of you. And it makes everything all the more entertaining. We'll see you guys. Just kidding, there's plot. 
Yeah. There's always plot. <laughs> yeah, we're we're on like a thousand and one hundred chapters, man. Come on. Uh, one thousand one hundred and seven. Oh. Fucking nerd. So I'd like to point out, Detective Conan is still ongoing, so you really can't talk shit about One Piece. Yeah, but Detective Conan at least ends its major plots. You, they have major plots, and then they have the massive plot. <laughs> they have to end it eventually. They don't have to do shit. They got rid of Ash, and people were pissed off about it after saying it for ten years. I mean, I'm I think that's, just kind I, of... I, I think... No, I think that's just a, a time-tested example of the internet just being impossible to please. Yeah, that that's just that that's definitely an example of that. Yeah, because well, it, the, the same people, the same people who are getting pissed off that they replaced Ash are the same people that complain that Ash has been there for too long and has never aged in twenty years. I do think he should have aged. I personally, at least a little. would have at least like you know Ash to meet Nimona, just because that would have been a hilarious combo. Nimona. I was uh, yeah, actually, yeah, actually, they would have done some. I was always holding out they would have done some cool thing like they did at the end of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX where like a, a new protagonist goes and like fights Ash years later after he had already become an older master. Well, they got mm -hmm. the new protagonist. Maybe they'll do that. Possibly. I wouldn't mind that. That's Future fine. Is right, my friend. That being said, oh, yeah. uh, Tara Strong is in some hot water, so I don't know if we'll see what happens with that. No, what happened oh. with her? Uh, it's just political stuff with and she said something. I don't remember yeah, what it was. That, I mean, even I was like, uh, I don't think you're going to make any of that, but I can't remember what it was. New phone. Who that? Yeah. Uh, Tara Sean, uh, one of the most famous American voice actors. Um, I'm trying to think of roles. I'm trying to think of roles that you would know. She was, she was Timmy Turner, Fairly Odd Parents. I know that. Uh, she was, I, she was someone in Teen Titans. I want to say. Yeah. I think uh, she was, was she Tara in Teen Titans? She might have been. Raven. May, may have been. That's right. Uh, she's she Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls, Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad, Ben okay. 10 from The Secrets of the Omnitrix. Tricks. Yeah, she, she's a very well-known American cartoon voice actor. Okay. Barbara Gordon from The Killing Joke. Ember in terms of Lane from Danny in, Phantom. In terms of female voice actors, she's probably the most famous, famous English uh, one. Hmm. Arguably. I won't say she is, but I'm. she's definitely up there. She's definitely gone around the block, I'll give it that. I'm just making a point. She is very famous yeah. in the world of English voice actors. But uh, yeah, she got herself to hot water, so they might replace her for Ash. Because, I mean, the original one just stopped doing Ash after whatever. I think it was the second second generation. Uh, they swapped him for Terra. Wait, are we back to Ash now? Well, I was just because she was the original Ash. That's all I'm saying. Uh huh. So right, I'm, but they retired Ash, didn't they? They retired the yeah, but if they well, bring Ash back, I'll say if if they bring him back for the thing that you want, you were saying where he fights the Matt. Oh, you know, oh, 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 yeah, they might. Oh, have well, to... yeah, because I'm hoping. Yeah. Well, because I'm hoping if they if they do what I was talking about them doing, it's not going to be the kid Ash anymore. It's he like he's going to be an adult, so you'll need somebody with at the very least a deeper sounding voice. Maybe, but yeah. I don't think they changed Goku. Okay, so I. <laughs> well, that was Japanese is... Goku. I found what it was over. I am not saying this on stream. Probably a wise idea. Yeah, I like, remember something pretty controversial. That's a, it, I wouldn't argue controversial, but... Well, I'll need to see. Just drop it in text. Tom. Yeah, drop it in After. text. Tom, we can look at well, it we're almost there. Once we're past this little bit of plot, I'll say, I'm going to save and end the video. Yeah. Well, there's plot happening, so, you know. I can only move so fast through the plot. I want to give some people some time to read it. They want to read it. Still, I wouldn't mind seeing Ash one more time. Mm-hmm. Like, even you if know, he's like the final boss of some other protagonist. Fuck, fuck it. Throw him in the games now. They put him in uh, Masters. Problem is, the games have already solidified that they use the red, blue, green timeline. I don't give a shit. Have a thing of Ash versus red. I don't care. Also, we okay. clearly established that as, as of also as of Oraz, we've also established now that like timelines and everything are very very fluid. Yeah, so I mean, Ash could that. That being said, Red has also aged in said timelines, so yeah, Red and Blue have. Sure, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the right people. They were they aged. Yeah, very well. Some people were very happy with the re with the uh, older designs of them. Yeah, no, I. Quite I like mean, it. honestly, they. I think they did. I mean, blue doesn't look all that much different. Red does look way more mature. Oh, hey, it's our right little friend. Left. I wouldn't. I just, just. I want more content in my Pokemon games. It's not too much to ask for, especially I given think... how long we've been doing it. Yeah. That that would require the Pokemon Company probably actually carry. Well, yeah. let's hope. Let's hope Power World maybe shook a few bolts or something. Well, I think I've. Uh, I've but I fairly, I'm fairly certain I've mentioned it in a previous video. One thing I would like to see is. A game where, like, and, and you can limit this to, like, the original 150, or, frankly, you don't even need 150, you can go all the way up to 149 National Dex, and you occupy the role of a Pokemon researcher, and you get this big open world, and basically you just photograph and document the behaviors of, like, the first 149. The thing is, and, like, if they presented this, one thing I would really want to see... Uh, kind of, yes, but one thing I would also really like to see is go for, like, the hyper-realistic portrayal of the Pokémon. Like, we've seen them online, we know that they can be made that way. Make it look like they are actual animals in the real world. I still don't want that. I do not want hyper-realism. And see, I think that would be cool from, like, a, as almost like a, almost like a Nat Geo special. It could be, but at the same time, I don't think they'll ever do something like that. Yeah, I oh, just... of course they won't. They no, they, they they need to keep it cartoony and ridiculous so they can appeal to a younger audience. But I personally would like to see like hyper realism and you as a either established or even aspiring researcher going out to like research their behavior in the wild. Well, that being said, we'll see you guys like next time. Later. Later. Later.